Good morning, everyone. Stray Dog Bill here, aka Stray Dog Billy, uh, doing song number 1182 and 1182 days in a row. Erin couldn't be, couldn't join us again today, but she'll be here tomorrow. She said, so for sure. We're tomorrow, and with tomorrow, we're going to start something new. We're going to play all the uh, a whole concert of songs. Well, one at a time, though, every day. Uh, we've decided that we we chose the songs that that uh, have gotten the most views on YouTube, and we've chosen a whole list of those, and we're going to start doing them every day. Uh, so those will be the most viewed songs. Uh, well, anyway, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but anyway, Aaron couldn't be here today, so I'm doing, uh, as I say, song number 1182 and 1182 days in a row. We started doing one song every day on August 7th of 2020, and here we are 1182 days later doing another one. We're going to keep on doing one song every day until homeless dogs and cats are no longer killed, euthanized, and that kill shelters across our country because when the shelters run out of space, there's nothing else they can do. We understand that it's a terrible tragedy, but they have to start euthanizing the poor animals who have been there the longest to make room for incoming rescues. Now we're still, as a society, allowing this to happen. We're killing every single day on the average over a thousand dogs and cats still every day. This is just terrible that we have allowed this to go on. It was far worse though Back in 2011, it was 7,000 per day. And back in 1970, 41,000 dogs and cats were euthanized on the average every single day. 15 million that year, divide 15 million by 365, and it comes out to 41,000 dogs and cats every single day. How horrible things were back then. We didn't even know it. Unbelievable that we somehow didn't, weren't, didn't realize this. But anyway, it's down to a thousand now. Let's get it down to zero. How do you do that? Spay and neuter everybody. We've got to get a hold of conception in the dog and cat world. Complete control of conception. Stop conception in the dog and cat world. And the way you do that is spay and neuter. It's been around since 1930 or probably before that too. Anyway, uh, we know how to do it. So let's, let's, let's do it. Uh, we and adopt from shelters, of course, adopt all these precious animals that are already here. They've been born, they're alive, they're, they've had lives up to the time they go into a shelter. And uh, so, uh, yes, adopt from a shelter, but that uh, they can proc these dogs and cats can procreate faster than we can keep up with adoption. So, we've got to do more. And the way we've got it down to a thousand a day now is through spay and neuter, basically plus adoptions. So anyway, uh, so Erin couldn't be here today, she'll be here tomorrow. And we're gonna do now uh, today, this is a song I wrote back in 1988 after my uh, 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 poor dog uh, Rocco uh, died. Uh, he died of a twisted stomach, but he had, had he had, suffered with cancer for a year before that, but it was doing really well with his cancer because we put him on the Tom Brady diet or similar to the Tom Brady diet. And so uh, it, it, it worked and we, we kept him going for over a year after his diagnosis. He had an osteosarcoma on his wrist. Okay, whatever the wrist is called in dog language. Okay, this is, and here's a song I wrote the next day for Rocco, uh, wishing he were back. And uh, so here we go. And yeah, here we go. Looking for my old friend Rocco I want him here by me Looking for my old dog Rocco Want to 
play some dog ball league. Looking for my old friend Rocco. Lord, please give him just a few more days. Org, uh, I co-founded that shelter back in 94, became a Texas nonprofit corporation in 97. And that led to applying for and receiving from the IRS 501c3 tax exempt status. That makes all donations, all contributions to the shelter tax deductible, big and small, tax deductible to the fullest extent of the law. Please go online if you could and make a donation to Stray Dog. It costs a lot of money to run a no-kill dog shelter, as you can imagine, because we don't kill any of the animals. We take care of them all until they're either adopted out or they can stay with us in our sanctuary. If, and some have uh, over the years. Uh, some have not been adopted, but we've had good success adopting out. We go on adoption days every week, uh, take a van load of dogs up to Dallas, and uh, we've had good success over the last more than 20 years now. And uh, so we try to adopt out as many as we can so we can take another one in and try to give it a life also. And we do, uh, at the shelter, it costs so much because we do complete medical care. And then that really, of course, costs, that's probably one of the biggest things in our budget is the medical care, the veterinary care that, they, that all the dogs get whenever they need something done. First thing is, of course, spay and neuter. We take care of that. That's the most important thing. But then, and then whatever happens to them, we take care of it. We do two nutritious meals every day, one at 6 a.m. and one in the afternoon to break up the day. So they get two meals a day. They do part-time walks. They go, on the, uh, they go to the two big enclosed parks we have. We have dog walkers that take them one at a time out of their kennels and, 
And if they go out of order, boy, the dogs let them know. They, 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 they know. So if you get a new walker or something, they go out of order. <laughs> the dogs let them know, though, no, we're, we're next. We're supposed to be next. So it's kind of cute to watch that. And we also, uh, we, of course, clean the kennels after every meal so there's no odor at stray dog. And we do caregiving rounds later on the, in the day. Uh, we have caregivers that go into each and every kennel and sit with the dogs for 10 or 15 minutes and, and uh, rub their bellies or play ball with them or whatever they want to do. Uh, and so the dogs all love, they look forward to their park walks and they look forward to their uh, caregiving rounds and they look forward to their meals, of course, as they all do. And they have a great time at, at, at Stray Dogs. So it does cost a lot of money to run a no-kill dog shelter. Please make a donation if you could. And check out at straydog.org. Click on About Us and go to the Our Story. And then you'll see history in, in the first paragraph. There's a lot of other years after that. Uh, if you click on the last, the last word of that paragraph, it says here, there's a video. It introduces the video too, of course. And there's a video that I, uh, I actually spoke on and did uh, talked about the history of Stray Dog. Uh, and so you get to see that. And you also uh, I, I get to see uh, well, various clips of, uh, throughout the years of, of Stray Dog. So please, stay new to your pets. Adopt from a shelter. Make a donation to Stray Dog if you could. We'll be back again tomorrow. Aaron will be here, she says, for sure, tomorrow. Okay.